Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's about 20 to 2, um, August 20th, Tuesday, about 81 degrees. Boy, I can't believe how quickly the summer's screaming by. There you go, look at that. My batteries are all charged up again. Alright, so what am I up to today? Well, I had to make a trip to uh, Tractor Supply. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these. Tractor Supply, it's a little distance from the house. I had to travel a little bit to get there. Anyway, what I bought was something known as a, a cattle panel, 16 foot, and some offsets for the... Um, I don't know, could you guys see those? Yeah, you can see them. So, these are five bucks. I guess there's four of them in here. So they're about a buck and a quarter each. Um, yeah, I don't know how they're coming in, but anyway. Um, these guys, anyhow, those are for that for the uh, chain over there. So that'll get that done. And the cattle panels. They're about 22 bucks each. So the three of them were 65. By the time you put tax on them, I don't know, 72, 73. Well, the whole bill came up to um, 76. I don't know. So they're about 23 bucks each, give or take a foot and a half. So what am I doing with cattle panels? What I did was... I've been considering these for a tarp type building. I don't know, can we see these? I think you guys could see it right. See the hoop over the top? Similar to that. But as you're looking at that, you can see how the pipes kind of shift underneath. And I have uh, boards connecting the pipes, but even with that, they kind of move around a bit underneath. Uh, these guys don't suffer from that, right? You don't have that lateral movement. You do have the, you know, boingy, boingy, up, up and down movement. But you don't, you don't have that movement so to speak anyway so that I'm walking underneath this so this is about six foot tall just under and um, if you pull a tape one-handed man right one-handed man and upside down You can, uh, I think you can see that. So, it's a little bit under nine foot. So, these are 16 foot long. <coughs> and I'm gonna do everything. Everything's gonna be kind of upside down for me here as I'm doing one handed man. And you can see Trying to show you, but I might end up just having to tell you. They're 50 inches <coughs> wide. And you go side to side. If you go, anyway, from side to side, they're 50 inches. Doing a heck of a job with the camera today, huh? So if you get three of them and you put three of them together, you're 12 foot and you could easily do eight foot wide <coughs> if you don't mind having it a bit low you could kind of get it to like 10 foot wide but now at that point you got to kind of hunch over a little bit 10 foot wide it bring it down a ways so why did I buy these things I'm I'm looking at them to create a couple of different types of buildings for winter storage and particularly for the back here
And once again, I'm just, right now I'm looking. I just draped this over for the time being. I don't know, could you guys see it? There's, um, this section here is about 40 inches. But even with that, that's a little over eight foot. So if you go eight and it's up plenty high enough, I mean, from a height point of view, eight foot high so if I stretch this out I could get a full 12 foot here and a full 12 foot gives me right in this area especially if with three of them um, 8 by 12 or four of them. I think I could go four wide here. Which means I'm going to have to go get more. By the way, they're a pain in the neck to transport. And I'll show you that shortly. Yeah, this is 16. So, looks like I could get, if I could get um, 12 by 16 here underneath my back deck. Or underneath this spot here. If I could get 12 by 16, that loses a lot of bikes for me for the winter. Um, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here with these things. So, let's look at four of them. Let's say I buy four of these things. And just for an even number, make that $100. So for 100 bucks, right I have the framework for a twelve by sixteen storage area underneath here and that's some uh, that's some nice that's some nice space. Um, so once I once I have this this uh, storage area, oh, then I got to put a tarp over it, and there will be some some wood to frame it in, right? Um, I am going to have to put something across the top there, and I am going to have to brace it. You know, I would probably brace it where the arc starts coming down. As you look at the arc, well, here let's my finger in the picture here as you look at the arc probably where the arc starts coming down right about there I'd put a brace um, uh, then yeah I, I think I think this could work the only bad thing about doing as I'm describing the only entrance will be this way, in this way, right? Because the arcs will make it so I can't go in that way. So the only entrance will be this way. So uh, that will slow things down a little bit. But I could also send, set it up that if I'm supporting it here, like about there, should I want to get something out, I could probably just lift, lift this up because it'll be attached here. It'll be attached there. It'll be attached here. So probably I could just lift this side up and take out whatever I need to take out. Anyway, thinking out loud about hoop buildings. Um, I don't know how much time I've spent. Oh, well, I'm about 10 minutes. Transporting these things are a pain in the neck just want to uh, show you this quick 
I used the um, the F-150, which uh, did get um, 20 miles to the gallon. I just fed it today. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. Um, just barely 20, like 20.1. 20 so I'm happy with that. Probably if I throw some air in the tires, I'll get just a touch more. So that's how I moved them. I put a tarp up there so I don't tear the paint off the roof. But even with that, I couldn't get much over 45 because even, you know, attached rigid, rigidly to the frame in the center, tied to the back bumper, arced over the front, and tied to the front here, even with all that, they were dancing around quite a bit. Um, I passed a couple of New York State troopers. For anybody who lives in New York State, you're familiar with the idea that troopers, troopers could be pesty. Um, they, uh, in New York, um, troopers used to be for a lot of, um, I, and I don't mean to insult anybody here, they used to do like a lot of public safety type stuff. Now basically they're out there um, for revenue. New York State figures heavy on uh, collecting money from people speeding and so forth. So if anybody ever comes to New York to visit, please remember, keep your speed down. If the speed limit's 55 and you're doing 75, you will pay the ticket. It's debatable where the trigger point is. Typically, if it's uh, 55, I do in the low 60s, as in below 64, 63, 62, and I haven't been stopped. Um, the other thing to watch out for here in New York is you could be on uh, main roads and they very interestingly go from uh, um, 65, which means you're doing in the year 70s, uh, right down to 55, sometimes 45 in construction zones. And boy, um, you don't want to get one of them, one of them tickets for 25 over the limit, right? Because if you're doing 75, in the 45 you'll get that 25 over the limit and that's an expensive expensive experience if you're out of state if you're in state it could cost you your license um, depending on what else you got out there on your license all right folks so this is what I'm fooling around with today I'm trying to get some idea on these tarp buildings exactly what I want to do whether I want to be mr. cheapo and just put together one behind the house, uh, no floor, no nothing, and uh, move some of this crap out of here so I can move, so I can breathe. Um, or if I want to go a little further, um, I have this wood here from this shelf. I don't know if you guys recall, my son was storing his stuff here. Well, we're, we're done with that. He's moved out to Pennsylvania, out York, Pennsylvania way. So this could come down with some pressure treated wood, this plywood, and make a nice base. And then if I hoop it up over there, right, put a nice hoop on it. Um, and in front and the back, that gives me another building. By the way, a relatively lightweight building, not as heavy as that shed over there, and an inexpensive building for the price of some pressure-treated lumber. I, I just put this base together. Um, now I have a relatively lightweight building. Um, uh, you know, I'll put a front and a back on it with plywood also. And then at, at that point, I could... Um, I could really move some stuff in there. The other thing I have is, I don't know how well you guys could see it in the back of the pickup bed here. See that um, Shelter Logic, I think it's called. It's one of those um, um, 
it's a 12 by 12 uh, building tarp building um, I've never set it up um, one of the things slowing me down is my wife is kind of getting on my cage about filling the backyard up she really wants me to uh, to stay behind the house as a matter of fact she'd really stay prefer that I stay between the sunroom and the property line <laughs> and this space over here without too much junk on that side of the garage which means I'm really uh, my space I'm running out I'm really getting squeezed in here so um, anyway folks live love and have a great time for those of you who hoard a lot of crap like I do um, start thinking about winter coming you know sooner or later you got to put this crap away um, until then, uh, till I see you guys again, live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching, folks.